Hey guys, it's me, Creative Simmer, and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. Um, we just got an update today, and here is one of the very first things that I noticed when I went in, is that you can now view your packs that you own. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, oh my gosh, it lets you see the items that you're going to get. This is amazing. Currently, we have our hairs from the WooHoo Challenge. Those have supposedly been put in. Is this new? Um... I feel like it would say new. I feel like this is the hair. This looks to me to be the hair. Um, and let's see if we can find the new hair in here. Um, looks like this one, which is adorable, okay? Adorable. The next part of the update is the new um, world selection tool. Um, when Get to Work comes out, you will also have Magnolia Promenade over here. And this must be for Granite Falls. So we will just jump in to Oasis Springs. How this goes. This update came with numerous performance fixes, bug fixes, things like that. But I am only going to go over the different things that we've gotten like in build mode and live mode and things like that. So apparently our basement tool is right here. So we can have a basement and this is so cool. We can also have another basement. Um, you're able to have two levels of basement. Um, and we also have an additional floor above ground. So let's try that out for size. So we can go up again. And we can go up again. And I believe we should be able to go up again. So that is a total of six floors, guys. Um, that you're able to put pools in the basement. Correct me if I'm wrong. We have insufficient funds. Let's fix that. Right quick. Um, yes, you can put pools in your basement. Cool. So cool. So there's also supposed to be, um, another gnome. Let's maybe go into decorations. There's no place named Gnome. Guardian of the Gnome Alexi. Here is one of the new gnomes. We can't scale him up, but we could definitely get a good look at him. He's super cute. Super cute. And that's just adorable. Um... And I think there's also supposed to be 
one more gnome. Um, I think it's this gnome right here. And he is more aimed towards Easter. Sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. Um, so, um, another thing I'm going to go over right quick is that non-playable characters, otherwise known as townies, now have jobs. So, let's see if Jeffrey Landgrab has a job. Well, let's go see. And it's supposed to be that when you meet them, you can ask about career, and it should show up what they actually do in your relationship panel. So, so yeah, Melanie learned that Jeffrey is a secret agent at Sims. And another good thing is it also tells you um, where they work um, and what their schedule is, so you'll know whether or not their home. Um, I thought that was pretty snazzy. And another th cool thing I thought was um, there is now a new notebook in your phone. Once you've started using the gardening skill or the fishing skill, information will pop up in that. Um, so say if you learn what kind of bait a certain fish likes or something of that nature um, that will all be stored now in your sims phone um, okay so what we are going to do here is we are going to bulldoze our house um, now some cool things about the gallery now, um, you are supposed to be able to, I thought, see who was following you, um, friends, followers, okay, right there, um, Hey guys, I am back, and like I said, you can now see who follows you if you go to your profile and click friends. You can still see who you are following, but you can also see who's following you now, so that is pretty cool. Um, is we are going to test out... Um, being able to, okay, and this looks new too, you can see the current size lot and your current funds, and that comes in really handy. So we will do 40 by 30, and we will choose... Um, this lot is larger than your current lot. Part of it will be cropped during placement. So a cool thing is that you can now um, you can uh, now crop lots. Um, you can now rotate them, which is really really cool because sometimes you would find a really gorgeous house with amazing landscapes and things of that nature and you'd be completely devastated when it took away all your landscaping. So here is the cropped version of this lot and it looks to me like does it crop right off? Yes. So you would have to go in and um, 
filling your walls and things of that nature. Definitely use the Rotate because I used to be absolutely ticked off when I would download a lot and um, have to redo all the landscape and I'm not very good at landscaping so for me that was quite difficult to be able to recreate that. So now another thing you can do I am guessing when you are a higher painting level um, is that you can now paint from reference. So let me see if I can cheat her skill up and be right back. Okay guys, so I have cheated her skill level. Um, I've cheated it to level 5. So I know for sure that this is at least available from level 5. It could be lower, but if you're looking to unlock it, um, it is available for sure at level 5. Five. Um, okay, so it looks as if you can do even your family. Um, so she is going to go ahead and paint this. Let's see how it turns out. So um, I also want to say the interactions when you are at work, socialize with coworkers or socialize with classmates or make friends, whatever. And it also looks like you can make copies of these paintings now as well, which is really great for the retail aspect of um, get to work um, uh, if you just want to create one painting and um, you want to create a copy of it so that you can have an art gallery and you don't actually have to paint all these paintings that is really amazing um, anyways as I was saying the um, socialization when you're at work or school now actually gets you to meet people which is great because I know a lot of people have had issues with being able to um, meet people and what have you so that is definitely really good um, the reason I'm kind of scanning this area is because included with this update there was actually a challenge um, to be able to find Easter eggs and if you collect all ten of them you will have a sort of stuffed animal rabbit type thing unlocked and it's supposedly at different lots actually it's supposed to be in your collections so decorative eggs here they are so it looks like they're all common so okay guys so he actually did manage to um, find a decorative egg um, I've been getting them to look for frogs and dig things up and that must have been how he found it this is one decorative egg so I'm not exactly sure where he found this um yeah so it looks like they're in capsules um so let's see what these look like here um yeah they're pretty cute so we're gonna get him to put those back in his inventory and what they have found together 
they have managed to find three of them, and it looks as if you do find them from capsules. Um, and things of that nature. So, yeah. She found a frog and an egg in the same thing. So, it looks like you basically don't really find them just laying around. You find them in capsules and with frogs and things like that. But yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, it was kind of a little overview of what was actually included in um, this uh, update. And yeah. Anyways, guys, um, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you later.